little bit more. This is interesting to note, too. We talk a lot about deferred commitment. The reason is because once you gain a little knowledge, it's quite easy. It's hard to figure out like where a piece goes. But once I connect it to it, it becomes a lot easier. At three, it's almost trivial to figure out where that block is on the puzzle. This is an emergent trade that evolved during the process. So originally I sorted the blues, but then I realized that I was having so much trouble inside that if I took the border edges, it was actually an easier set for me to play with. And you can see that it actually helped quite a lot because all of a sudden a huge block of the puzzle gets done just by filling in the borders. At this point, the piece itself contains less information than the surrounding pieces. It's easier for me to find a piece by figuring out what's around it than by looking at the piece and figuring out where it goes. Mm, this is interesting. A lot of puzzles, those knobs, a lot of puzzles have pieces that have no knobs. Or they all go into it. They have pieces that have one knob. They have pieces that have two knobs side to side or on the three corner. Or three knobs or four knobs. This particular puzzle, I realized, and I didn't realize this until somewhere <coughs> after the orange, right? So I'm mean, maybe about an hour and a half into this puzzle. So it's a fair amount of time to look at pieces to realize I have not seen any pieces other than the two outs and two ins, with the exception of these curvy pieces. At the time that I realized that, that became my low hanging fruit. I grabbed all the pieces that were concave, threw them on one side, all the pieces with convex, threw them on the other side, and at that point it became very easy to match them together. Right? I did it in the colors first, and then I re used that knowledge when I got to the blues. Again, this is when we get to the blues. At this point, earlier knowledge is helping me. I know about the pointy knobs. This is actually a tray of all knobs that are pointing. And you can actually notice they're pointing in the same direction, which means that if I end up with a piece that the point is going this way, I look here. If it's going this way, I can skip that entire block. So again, just using my system to make it so I do not have to look at stuff that isn't pertinent, pertinent? It's to my work. Pertinent, thank you. Pertinent. That's what he said. <laughs> this is coming near the end of the puzzle. And again, at this point, I'm making a conscious effort. It looks a little bit not, because some of these are the wavy pieces that are getting in for free but I'm not putting it in any piece that doesn't connect on at least two sides. This is a process where you do something where the process itself prevents you from making a mistake. The most common place that we see it is actually on computer cable cords where you can't plug them in the wrong way. It's a concept from Lean. And because I had the problem in the beginning that cost me a third of my time, I made a conscious effort never to try to put like this piece in, work the edges where I had it. Two connecting pieces. All right. <clears throat> Definition of done. A little video. Here we have a couple pieces. Uh, I'm recording this from the chandelier, so that's. <laughs> so very simply, I just take my piece around and check out the edges. I believe to the question, is the piece there? The piece is not there. 
I did not miss anything. I didn't do anything twice. I do not have to rework this tray at all. I can move this tray away. I know the piece is not there. I also want to talk a little bit about the feedback here. Again, uh, I have nine pieces here. I start my timer. And I just take the piece and I check it against the place where I think it's going to be there. So here I have a double edged thing, so that's nice. Why do you only have nine pieces if there are like 50 pieces missing? Ah, uh, this isn't called an example video. <laughs> <laughs>
literally someone you like. <laughs> Thank you very much.